What's up, YouTube? Real Life Fish Tanks. Just want to bring you a really quick video and talk to you today about hole in the head disease or hole in the head and lateral line erosion, as it's also called. Now, hole in the head disease is very commonly seen in Oscar cichlids and in other types of large cichlids. Now, this disease is said to be caused by the use of activated carbon in your aquarium and also poor water conditions. Now, this disease is preventable and curable. Uh, how can you prevent it? Stay on top of your water changes. Do water changes. No reason to have a dirty tank. You know, it's something that you have the power to prevent. Now, the use of activated carbon. Look, I personally don't know. I haven't tested it. I haven't done no any studies on it. But uh, if you believe that activated carbon is the cause or is one of the causes of hole in the head disease then stop using it look there's different types and different methods and different ways of purifying water to use in your aquarium just find a different way it's not a big deal um, you know do what you can to prevent diseases in your fish now Oscars are very messy eaters you know Everyone who keeps Oscars, who, who dealt with Oscars, know what I'm talking about. They're very greedy. You know, they love to eat any and everything that can possibly fit in their mouth. You know, very, very hungry cichlid, I am going to say. But uh, that's why it's very important that you feed them uh, a very balanced diet. Now, you know, I personally stay away from live foods. And I also stay away from uh, flaked foods. Uh, reason being, live foods, uh, these minnows, these feeder goldfish, these uh, whatever guppies, whatever you're buying to feed your fish, you know, they're oftentimes bred in such bad conditions. You know, they develop diseases, and, you know, it's one of the reasons why these fish don't even last as long. You know, I wouldn't want to be feeding any of my fish that junk. So, I stay away from that because they can transfer diseases and uh, you know all that waste into my tank I don't want that in my tank uh, the reason I stay away from flake foods is because flake foods you know so me so much excess nutrients are is in uh, flake food and I just stay away from it because you know flake foods will just settle to in the bottom of my tank and it'll just create a mess you know it, it'll cause the ammonia to go up and just you know dirty really dirty my tank so I stay away from flake foods because they have excess nutrients that you really don't need in your tank it's just gonna promote algae growth um, so definitely find a food that's great that has the vitamins and minerals that your fish need but it's not only it's not only good to feed your fish just one type of food. I also it's it's good to feed a variety of different types of food. So definitely throw in some uh some bloodworms in there, some some uh brine shrimp. You know, change it up. It's make it a varied diet just so that you know, whatever one food is lacking, you may acquire in another. You know, just keep your fish healthy, do your water changes. If you think activated carbon is causing hole in the head disease, then, uh, hey, stop using it. You know, no one's forcing you to use activated carbon. I personally do not use any activated carbons in any of my tanks. Um, but, uh, I think that's it for hole in the head disease. You know, do your water changes. Refrain from using activated carbon if you feel that's what you need to do and a balanced diet, very important. You know, give your fish all of the vitamins, minerals that they need to be healthy and stay away from uh, that that really bad live food. I know it's fun to watch your fish maybe kill another fish for some of you guys, but uh, you know, stay away from that junk. It's, 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 it's bad. It's, it's no good. Um, but uh, if you guys have any questions, comments, you know, just hit me up in the box down below. I'll definitely get back to you. And, uh, you know, please uh, remember to like, subscribe, and uh, just 
spread the word about my videos and uh, help me help me uh, make my videos a little more popular on YouTube. But uh, see you guys next time. I'll bring you an update of the uh, 125 soon, so check that out. Um, but uh, see you till then.